now let's move to the back end part let's say that here in the controller part let's say that we want to give the default through settings what i mean by that is right now we have passed here 10 in an hard code fashion we have hard coded this number 10 right if we can get it from settings directly that means if we if we connect this number 10 or the number of default posts to be shown to the settings page then it would be very handy to control it on the front end part so how are we going to do that let's go to our settings page okay right so we get this example field i'm going to make a use of the same field and this thing okay and this thing can be found inside our admin controller so here are the hook callbacks which are required to render the admin template okay this nq script and the nq style method that we see here these are not really required these are just for the demonstration purpose now let's go here and again because that is the template part so this field here is coming from the template we can see that inside this inside templates and page setting and then there are these three templates we will deal with the page setting field okay so i'm going to make it number field id so all these things the field id and the settings value this can be passed from the controller here oh controller here field id and the right so here is the field arguments so let's say it is a number of posts right that is number of posts and this is going to be the same thing similarly okay uh, we might want to rename this part as well that is the example me field so example me field comes from the add settings field section so we are going to say number of default number of posts okay and now let's reload this thing okay so we have here this on number field let's let's pass number five here now you would be wondering how we can do the sanitization and apply validation on this thing on this field so for that we'll have to go to the model so model does the job of 
of sanitization and registering the fields actually so here is the sanitization part if uh, if you if you want to write your own logic for the sanitization you can do it inside this so now that this uh, setting is defined successfully we can see that this is being saved we can go to the model of our short code and what we should do here is whatever settings are stored those can be those can be uh, used using a method get setting and we'll have to pass the key or the, the field ID that we have used and the field ID was I believe example me uh, example me and number of posts right And here also we are going to do the same okay now we will go to the page okay. I think I'll have to sort by date let's edit it okay and I'm going to remove this part from here that is number of posts okay and now we will check how many posts are printed okay so we can see five posts are printed so these are coming from our settings if we if we make them one or two maybe we can see two posts are here So guys, this was the basic tutorial to start with MVC WordPress plugin development. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any doubt or queries, please write them in the comments. Thank you.